Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Minimalism isn't just about owning less, sometimes it's also about doing less. And I want to share five things with you that I stopped doing since I've become an aspiring minimalist. Hey, it's great to have you here. Just in case you don't know me yet, my name is Freya and I'm an aspiring minimalist. I'm very passionate about healthy living, making life simple, and just doing the things that I love doing the most. Okay, so let's dive right in. The first thing I no longer do is ironing clothes. I don't know if you can see it, but I really never iron anything. I usually just work at home also. I make YouTube videos. I have two channels. Well, I actually added a third channel. Just in case you're interested, I am a performing artist. I'm a singer and I have a vocal coaching channel here on YouTube. You can find it at Freya Casey. And also I have a channel that's named Simple Blessings and that is all about our journey to try to grow our family. I don't iron my clothes anymore because I just feel it just takes way too much time and to me personally, after 30 minutes, something is wrinkled again. And I try to buy clothes that are very forgiving. I buy very basic clothes. So it's really just a lot of basic colors, a lot of basic, cuts, the way it's shaped, t-shirts, long-sleeved t-shirts, sweatshirts, leggings, and so really I don't need to iron. As a professional artist, when I am on stage, I have my evening wardrobe with cocktail dresses and long, nice gowns. Now those, I can't even wash them myself, so I would have to give those to the dry cleaners. But if there's something I can pick that is absolutely no iron, I totally do. I have a few dresses that, you know, when I used to be on cruise ships as a performing artist, they were so practical. They were out of a material that I never had to iron and so that was really practical. The second thing I don't do anymore at this time is going to the gym. While I do work out and exercise almost every single day, I have stopped going to the gym. I had a membership up until the beginning of this year and I canceled it just because of the fact that I wanted to just save time and save effort. And there are a lot of workouts I can do at home. If you've been following me for any length of time, you've seen some of my morning routines where I either go outside to run because we have a dog and I go outside anyway. A lot of times I will go out and run or I will do yoga at home or I will do body weight workouts at home. There are tons of great apps that I have shared before. There are tons of great videos on YouTube for all the things you could possibly desire. I have a pair of dumbbells, that is enough, but frankly, doing pull-ups and push-ups, that is quite heavy, just lifting your own body weight. And so for me personally, at this stage of my life, I've decided, to not go to the gym anymore to save time. The third thing I don't do anymore is decorating. I really don't own a lot of decor anymore. We have a little bit of Halloween stuff. We have a little bit of Christmas stuff. We put up a Christmas tree. Um, that's about it. We don't really do anything for Easter. If anything, I actually decorate with edible things or things that we bring from nature. You know, when I go outside in the forest, we will bring leaves or cones. In the fall, there are pumpkins that we will use up and eat anyway, so I don't really buy decor. First of all, I think cluttered spaces are not for me, and also cleaning up, wiping off a table or dusting gets a lot more difficult when you have all these tchotchkes sitting around and you have to take everything off and then put everything back. And I've just gotten tired of it for me personally. I like the look of a, just clear surfaces. Plus, I don't need any space to store any seasonal decor, which, you know, we don't have a lot of storage space in our house, which, you know, it's okay. I don't need storage space because my attitude is minimal. The fourth thing I actually never really did and never will be doing probably is getting manicures or pedicures. I give myself a manicure and really all I do is cut my nails. I can't stand nails when they get too long. I like them short. It just, even when they get a little bit longer, I have the feeling when I help Romy with anything, I scratch her or I, I just don't know. I, it, for me personally, it does not feel good to have longer nails. And also I do have some nail polish 
but I don't really use it anymore. I haven't used it in years because it makes my nails worse. I feel my nails are good the way they are and I, you know, I work in the house every day and I wash dishes and I clean and, and I just do things around the house and I have a dog. And so I just don't know, I, I was never into getting manicures. And what I think is much more important is, you know, to have not messed up fingers. So I don't have any messed up nails. They're not messed up, they're nice and healthy, there's nothing wrong, and they don't look messed up, but it's just plain. So that's okay for me. All I do is cut my fingernails and toenails, and my toenails I actually do paint. In the summer, in the winter, it really doesn't make a lot of sense because I wear socks and shoes all the time, even when it's home because it is really cold outside here in Germany. So that's all I do for my nails. And the last thing I don't do anymore is using Kleenex tissues. Let me explain. I actually do maybe need to blow my nose sometimes, but I have washable cotton tissues. Um, I like it personally. Now Romy and no one else in my family likes using them because they think it's gross. I don't think it's gross. I think <laughs> when you blow your nose, well, okay, <clears throat> sorry for TMI, but snot and boogers, it comes out of your body and it is definitely washable and water soluble. And so using those has been fine for me, but here's the thing, I don't really hardly ever need them. I have not had a cold in more than a year, not even the sniffles, Romy gets sick, but I don't get it because I have been really taking my vitamin D, especially in the winter. I work out, I go outside, I walk, I move my body outside, I get fresh air. And I think there's a lot of things I do to wear. I actually don't have to buy the tissues for myself. I do buy them for my family though, because of course I don't wanna use the rewashable ones. But here's the thing, even if I do have the sniffles and I get a head cold, I actually stay at home. I blow my nose while I stand at the sink. Sorry for the info, but that is just to me the best way to prevent the skin around your nose from getting really raw and irritated when you do have to blow your nose all day long. Of course, granted, not everyone can do that. I do work from home, so I am home almost all the time. When I do go outside, I do need to take some of my tissues with me, but when I'm at home, I just do the sink thing. So these are the things I don't do anymore as a minimalist. Let me know in the comments, is there something you used to do that you stopped doing because it was absolutely not necessary and you save a lot of time because of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, consider subscribing for more videos about minimalism, decluttering, simple lifestyle, healthy and simple. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon.